Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a sports car from Honda, the Civic Type R, and a compact SUV from Jeep, the Wrangler Sahara. Plus a feature to feature comparison of two midsize SUVs, the Mitsubishi Montero Sport Black Series Rally R Tradition against the Toyota Fortuner GRS 4x4 AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about changing the oil in your car. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the Lexus RZ launch as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and I'll be right back after this short break. Into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Honda. The Honda Civic Type R has attained iconic status among car enthusiasts all over the world. This car we checks out the 6th generation Honda Civic Type R now available for sale in the country. Honda rolled out the first Civic Type R back in 1997, a three-door hatchback that could in essence be considered a road legal race car. Over the years, the Civic Type R has gained iconic status as among the hottest and also the coolest hatchbacks and sedans around. Our race-ready hatchback or sedan right off the showroom. Since then, Honda continued to develop the Civic Type R and enhancing all the qualities that made it so popular. The 6th generation Civic Type R arrived locally early this year with an SRP of 3.88 million pesos, but even then, all 40 of the first batch of units had already been reserved by buyers who waited long for their dream car. But is the latest iteration of the Civic Type R worth the long wait in the hefty price tag? Those who like sports cars or just sporty looking cars would love the new Civic Type R. At 4,593 millimeters long, 1,890 millimeters wide, just 1407 mm at its highest point, and clearing the ground by just 123 mm, the new Type R is longer, wider, and sits lower on the ground than its predecessor. It also sports a longer bonnet, further enhancing the sporty attitude. The other exterior features not only enhance the sporty look, but also adds to sporty performance. According to Honda, the new bumper that reduces side weight, the functional front fender air outlets, and the side sail garnish enhances efficiency and contribute to a lower overall coefficient of drag. The new rear diffuser and spoiler with aluminum stanchions increases downforce while helping reduce drag. Other notable exterior features include honeycomb grille mesh, LED headlamps, redesigned LED tail lamp, tailgate spoiler, tri-tip tailpipe diffuser, Matte black finished 19 inch alloy wheels wrapped in 265 30 high performance tires, automatic front wipers, hood and side air vents. And of course, there's the all important Type R badge on the front grille and tailgate, as well as the Honda logo in red. <laughs> All 
also enhanced is the sportiness and the refinement of the Civic Type R interior. You'd immediately know you're not inside your usual Civic from the serialized Type R plate on the dash, the aluminum shift knob, the black and red motif of the trim and finishes. The bucket seats that are well bolstered and upholstered in Alcantara fabric or matched with Type R logo or pedals. The front bucket seats slide and recline. The driver can adjust the height of his seat. You still get all the creature comforts and conveniences one expects from top-end Civics. Smart keycard entry and one push start system, automatic air conditioning, speed sensing power door locks, a center console with deep and wide cup and beverage holders. There's no lack in tech either. There's a 10.2-inch fully digital instrument cluster and the 9-inch touchscreen display for in-car entertainment that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A wireless charging pad. Audio files will love the 12-speaker Bose system. But more than great comfort, convenience, and connectivity, many aspire to own a Civic Type R for the joy of driving one. The needs of the driver with racing intentions are provided by the new Civic Type R. The steering wheel wrapped in Alcantara fabric provides great grip. Tilt and telescopic functions allow for getting the ideal driving position. Honda rolled out the Civic Type R powered by a 2.0-liter 16-valve DOHC VTEC turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine that churns 3 to 20 PS and 4 to 20 Newton meters of torque mated to six-speed manual transmission that drives the front wheels. The manual transmission comes with a technology that detects downshifts and flips the throttle to match the optimum engine required by the lower gear. The system is described as having an expert racer with precise heel and toe skills. The driver has a choice of powertrain models from Comfort, Sport, Plus R, and Individual, the last allowing to customize settings. The Civic Type R suspension uses dual axis struts in front and a multi link system in the rear and comes with an adaptive damper system with sensors. Behind the wheel of the Civic Type R in traffic and varies road conditions and on highways and switchbacks or on the track, one can feel the adaptive damper system at work to provide a compliant, comfortable ride during leisurely driving and firmer, more precise handling at more aggressive speeds. Providing confident and sure-footed stopping power is a brake system that uses 350mm Brembo ventilated discs in front and solid 305mm discs in the rear. The all-new Civic Type R comes with an enhanced version of the Honda Log R Performance Data Logger, which integrates an onboard computer and sensors with a new built-in vehicle app to monitor and record performance parameters in real time when driving on the road, on racetracks, and other closed courses. This provides vehicle information to the driver including a 3D display, tire friction circle, quartering G-forces, status of oil and coolant temperatures, oil pressure, among other significant data. It even scores and logs track performance while providing lap time and a heat map, which driver can use to learn his driving habits and tendencies and hone his skills. Honda says the standard Honda Sensing suite of driver assistive and safety technologies has been thoroughly re-engineered for the 2023 Civic Type R that is equipped with a new single camera system with a field of view twice as wide and can see farther down the road and an exceptionally fast processor and sonar sensors. Honda Sensing features collision mitigating braking system, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, road departure mitigation, lane departure warning, forward collision warning, and auto high beam. Based on the Civic hatchback, the latest generation Type R is touted as the most powerful ever rolled out by Honda. With all its comfort, convenience, and safety features, driving assist and smart connectivity tech, performance driving capabilities, the latest Civic Type R may be the best so far. The 2023 Civic Type R 2.0 VTEC Turbo with Honda Sensing comes with a great many features and attributes. But is it worth all the weight and hefty price tag? Only those who preserved and taken receipt of their dream ride can answer that question. The latest auto industry news and developments. 
right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. The new Chief Operating Officer of Kia Philippines Motor Corporation, Brian Buendia, outlined his plans for the brand during a formal roundtable discussion with motoring journalists. So my plans for Kia is to continue what we started way back in the 2019 when Ayala got the Kia franchise in the Philippines. We have been growing Kia year on year, uh, double digit numbers. Uh, unfortunately, we had a slight hurdle, which is COVID. But this year, we are seeing the numbers go back to pre-pandemic levels. 2021, Kia globally launched the new logo or the new store image, which will not be only just for the looks of our dealerships, but also for the feel of uh, the customer experience. We want to focus on this henceforth because uh, the aim of Kia in the Philippines is to be the top of mind choice for the Filipino consumers. While it was Buendia's first experience on the brand's regular get-togethers with media, it may have been the last for Manny Aligada ahead of his impending retirement as president of Kia Philippines. Well, I'll be watching on the sidelines, looking at how Kia will grow further, given that intentions for the brand are going into the next generation of technology, which is the electric vehicle technology, while continuing to develop and uh, progress on the ICE technology. So I guess that's the beautiful thing about the brand. It's going to continue with what it had done so well in the past, and yet be very competitive in new technologies. When Dia devolves Kia's plans for introducing new vehicles, including hybrid models. We are looking at uh, four vehicles coming in the next few months. Two of these vehicles will be within the year, and the other two will be launched by 2024. It's very interesting because one of the vehicles that we will be launching this year will be part of the new energy vehicle segment. So these are the hybrids. So we all know that we have the EV6 already as our battery electric vehicle, but uh, we are also welcoming hybrids in our uh, portfolio. Wendia also offered good news for the many who have paid for reservations on the Kia EV6. We have gathered a total of around 50 reservations already for the EV6. And so far, we have only released six units, but as we speak, there are a significant number coming in in the next few days. We will be able to serve the 50 customers uh, that is waiting for EV6, and we plan to have the same volume towards the end of the year, totaling to around 100 EV6s as our uh, forecast for the year. GAC Motors has launched the all-new GS3, a visually stunning subcompact SUV that also comes with an impressive powertrain and a host of advanced tech, all at the price point that should make it a game-changer in the segment. We're very happy with the launch. As mentioned, this new generation GS3 is a game-changer. With the price point, you get so much value for the money. Main features, main selling points, First, we start with the engine. It comes with a 1.5 turbocharged, water-cooled intercooler, direct injection engine, mated to a 7-speed 
wet type dual clutch transmission system. It's the longest, most spacious in its class. It's the new player in the subcompact crossover segment, but feature for feature, it provides you value for money, one segment higher. We continue to excite the market with new and fresh models. This is our fourth model launch this year. That's an average of one model being launched every two months. The next six months is more exciting for the brand. We have more in store in terms of products, in terms of offer. You want to invite everyone. Visit your nearest JC dealership nationwide. We are fast gaining strength in terms of number. As mentioned, by July, you will see 15 locations all across the country. By end of the year, we will have at least 20 dealerships. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on Head to Head. This Head to Head compares the specs and features of two top-end special variants of popular mid-size SUVs, the Mitsubishi Montero Sport Black Series Rally R and the Toyota Fortuner GRS 4x4 automatic transmission. Automakers have always leveraged success in the field of motorsports to selling their vehicles, adding flourishes here and there, racing vehicles in kits and sometimes actual racing gear or powertrain to special edition variants. Mitsubishi has its Rally Art Motorsports division, which has gained for the brand renown for toughness and high performance in the World Rally Championship and the Paris Dakar Rally. For Toyota, there's Gazoo Racing, which has teams competing in the WRC and other motorsports events. Mitsubishi has rolled out a special edition variant of its popular mid-size SUV called the Montero Sport Black Series Rally Art. Toyota has also launched and imbued its equally popular four-tuner with the spirit of Gazoo Racing called the four-tuner GRS 4x4AT. The Mitsubishi Montero Sport is 4,825mm long, 1,850mm wide, and 1,835mm tall, with a 2,800mm long wheelbase and a 218mm high ground clearance. The Fortuner GRS variant is listed at 4,795mm long, 1,855mm wide, and 1,835mm tall, with a 2,745mm long wheelbase. The Montero Sport Black Series Rally Art comes in either white diamond or jet black mica with accents and garnishes all done in black. Blacked out are the grille, headlamp extension, front and rear bumper garnish, the rooftop itself and roof rails, the spoiler, the shark fin antenna and the 18-inch alloy wheels. The Rally Art Edition comes in stripes, accents and decals and graphics as well as mud flaps in Rally Art colors or logos. Movement sensors at the quarters of the rear bumpers allow hands-free raising and closing of the powered lift gate. The Fortuner GRS comes in a host of Gazoo Racing-inspired design accents, starting with the GR badge on mesh-type front grille with a bitone finish and the GR Design 18-inch alloy wheels with a machine-cut finish wrapped by 26560 or 18 tires. 
It also features body colored backdoor garters, outside door handles, split type LED headlamps, and LED daytime running lights with line guide, sequential front turn signal lamps, and front fog lamps, rear LED combination lamps with line guide, sequential signal and bulb light, black and chrome door belt molding, front and rear mud guards, roof rails, and blacked outside view mirrors with welcome lamp that power adjusts in full. Additionally, the Ford Tudor GRS boasts of a power tailgate with kick sensor function for hands free operation. The Rally Art Edition contains much of the interior comfort and convenience features of the Montero Black Series Rally Art. The Montero sits seven and seats upholstered in material that looks and feels posh. The front seat slides and reclines with the driver's seat also adjusting for height. The second row seats for three splits and fold 60-40 and features a fold down center armrest. The third row seat for two splits 50-50 and can be folded flat. The wide central console and armrest comes with twin cup holders. This is also where one finds the electronic parking switch as well as the auto hold button. The Montero Sport Black Series Rally Art also comes with a new 8-inch color LCD instrument meter display. The leather-wrapped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features buttons and controls for the audio, the multi-information display, as well as the adaptive cruise control. The automatic climate control system features rotary dials, digital meters, and a Nano-E air purifying system. Other standard covered convenience features include keyless entry, front accessory outlets, power windows, auto dim day, and night rear view mirror. The Fortuner GRS features the GR badge on the leather wrapped steer wheel, which tilts and telescopes and comes in paddle shifter and controls for the multi information display and cruise control. The cabin comes with suede and leather upholstery for seat and trim, as well as smoke, silver, metallic, matte carpet, and red stitching accents. Driver and frenzy passenger enjoys eight way power adjusting seats. The second row seat for three split 60 40 slides and reclines and comes with one touch stubble function, as well as center armrest. The third row seat reclines and splits 50 50. Other comfort and convenience features include smart keyless entry and push start system, dual zone auto climate control as well as power windows with auto up down function and jam protection, speed sensing door locks, power deal kit with kick sensor, glove box, cool box, 10 cup and bottle holders, room and door courtesy lamps, and two 12 volt accessory outlets. The Montero Sport Black Series Rally Art also features a multimedia entertainment system with an 8 inch display, Apple CarPlay and added auto compatibility, hands free voice control, GPS navigation system, 1 HDMI and 2 USB connections, 6 speakers. The Ford Tutor GRS infotainment system comes with an 8 inch display audio, Apple CarPlay, added auto, smart device link, as well as AM FM radio, Bluetooth and USB, voice command, as well as a JBL 9 speaker system. The GRS also touts wireless charger and two USB charging ports in the rear, as well as two 12 volt accessory outlets. The Montero Rally Art variant is powered by a 2.4 liter MIVEC diesel engine with variable geometry turbo generating 181 PS and 430 Nm of torque in the Black Series. It is made into an 8 speed automatic transmission that drives the rear wheels and comes in sport mode and paddle shifters. The suspension system features front double wish modes with coil springs and stabilizer bar, three link coil springs with stabilizer bar in the rear. The Montero Sport brake system is equipped with ventilated discs on all four wheels. Powering the Ford Tuner GRS is a 2,755cc four-cylinder inline 16-valve DOHC diesel engine with variable nozzle turbo and air-cooled intercooler that generates 204 PS and 500 Nm of torque. This is made into a six-speed automatic transmission and a 4x4 drivetrain that comes with differential lock with auto disconnect function. The GRS also comes with two drive modes, Eco and Sport. The Fortuner GR suspension features monotube shock absorbers for the double wish boats up front and the multi link system in the rear. The brake system uses ventilated discs on all four wheels along with the GR brake calipers. The Montero Black Series Rally Art is equipped with such active and passive safety features as Forward Collision Mitigation System or FCM, Adaptive Cruise Control, Active Stability and Traction Control or ASTC, and Ultrasonic Mix Acceleration Mitigation System or UMS, among other advanced automotive tech. Other standard safety features include trailer stability assist, hill start assist, anti lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, multiple airbags, 3 point ELR seat belts for driver and all passengers, isofix, and tether anchors. The Fortuner GRS is equipped with Toyota Safety Sense, an advanced collision prevention system that includes pre collision system, lane departure alert, and adaptive cruise control, as well as blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. It also features anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, vehicle stability control with traction control, hill start assist, 3-point ELR seat belts for 7, seat belt reminder, and pre-tensioner and adjustable seat belt anchors for driver and front passenger, child restraint system using Isofix and teether anchors, child lock in the rear doors, the Toyota vehicle security system featuring an immobilizer and alarm. Do the specs and features of both Montero Sport Black Series Rally Art and the Fortuner GRS 4x4 justify being given the Sport Tag, Rally Art, and GRS? 
And after comparing the two, which would you rather have in your garage? Zoom UX. Take the lead. The Mitsubishi Strata athlete, confident to the core. Life comes at you fast. If you're brave enough, drive right back at it. Brave the big city or the great outdoors. Brave the carpool or the extra cargo. Brave the unexpected with Honda Sensing. Brave the long road with fuel efficiency to reach your destination. The all new Honda BRV. Brave the next level. Welcome back to Auto Focus the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Lexus has jumped into the local BEV market in a big way, rolling out the RZ450E, a battery electric sport utility vehicle. This special feature is all about the launch. Today, we're here at the Lexus Manila showroom and it is a very special day for all of us because Lexus Philippines is introducing its very first fully electric uh, vehicle and it is called the RZ450. First and foremost, the RZ450e is a Lexus and it promises everything from the craftsmanship and the technologies that Lexus was able to bring in all together with our experiences in terms of electrification. We first introduced the hybrid technology through the RX and um, over the years we were able to gather all of that experience that different kinds of technology that we were able to further refine in the RZ450E, which is our first fully electric uh, battery vehicle. So there, in its introduction, we will only be having a uh, one variant, and that is priced at four million eight hundred twenty-eight thousand, exclusive only, of course, from Lexus Philippines. And we are very excited that since uh, through our introduction of all of our electric vehicles, we've been introducing the hybrid vehicles from our entire lineup. And the Lexus RZ450e will be available already starting this May. The RZ450e is available in nine exciting uh, exterior colors. The one we have here is this uh, graphite black glass flake. And in the launch vehicle, it's a very exciting new color. It's called the Ether, which kind of reminds you of like a sky blue, but of course done the Lexus way. And um, also here available in the showroom is the Sonic Chrome in black. This is all available, uh, nine exterior colors with three interior colors, and all of them have 20 inch wheels. So we would like to invite all of our Lexus guests, customers, and of course anybody who would be a fan of our move towards electrification, towards a more sustainable and carbon neutral future, we will be here at Lexus Manila here located at the Bonifacio Global City.
as a sister brand, Lexus RZ450E adds to Toyota offering the most comprehensive lineup of hybrid and full electric vehicles in the country, perhaps leading the transition towards the day when full electrics rule the market for mobility. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota we go. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes, from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services, as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Up next in our car review, we're checking out the Jeep Wrangler Sahara. In the world of 4x4 go and rear vehicles, less than a handful get immediate global recognition from iconic looks that come with a good rep for on and off road performance. One such vehicle is the Jeep. There's the goofy grille with the round eyes for headlights and the flat fender flares, the boxy cabin, the flat front windshield that's absolutely retro. Over the years, Jeep has rolled out new models and variants all the while retaining the same basic look, much loved all over the world. One such model is the Jeep Wrangler, a four-door, five-passenger mid-size SUV taking up space on the road that's 4,785mm long, 1,874mm wide, and 1,869mm tall. The look may be called modern retro, but nothing is retro about the exterior and interior accoutrements that make the Jeep Wrangler Sahara a luxurious and comfortable ride and a very capable off-roader. The Wrangler comes with halogen headlamps, incandescent taillights, daytime running lights, center high mount stop lamp, rear fog lamps, powered and heated side view mirrors with turn lights. You can easily tell that it's a Jeep Wrangler while parked or coming down the road by just the iconic and ancient design. So there's the Jeep badge as well as the Wrangler decal just to confirm. Standard exterior features include outside tire carrier with spare tire cover, fixed long mass antenna, non-vented hood, step board and variable intermittent windshield wipers. To tell it's a Jeep Wrangler Sahara, check out the black door handles, exterior mirrors and fuel filler door, then the body color grill, fender flares, and finally 18 and 7.5 inch polished wheels and gray spokes. And yes, there's a Sahara badge as well. A trail rated badge proclaims the Jeep Wrangler Sahara is more than capable off-roader, but one can also tell from the equipment and gear and other exterior features. Going off-roading need not be all about roughing it, and the Jeep Wrangler Sahara comes in comfort and convenience features expected of high-end SUVs. The leather trim bucket seats for driver and front seat passenger with the Sahara logo are posh and can comfortably hold occupants in place on the drive, on and off paved roads. The leather matches, that which is wrapped around the steering wheel mounted with controls for audio and other functions, the part brake handle, and the gear shift knob. The steering column tilt and telescopes. Slide and recline as well as height and lumbar adjust needs to be done manually by the driver, so does the four-way adjust for front seat passenger. The rear seat for three splits in full 60-40 and features three headrests. The sport bar is fully padded both for looks and safety. The Wrangler Sahara comes with modern amenities, ambient LED interior lighting, 7-inch TFT screen for the instrument cluster, console bin task light, power windows, front and rear dome lights, even the cup holders are illuminated. It also comes with remote keyless entry, push-button start, speed sync and power door locks, automatic headlamps, and air conditioning with auto temperature control. 
For infotainment, there's the Uconnect 4 with 7 inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built in navigation, a 9 speaker Alpine system, a media hub with USB data and auxiliary input ports, and two USB ports for charging. The Jeep Wrangler Sahara can be a comfortable ride in the city and the highway, but it is for off roading. Underneath the hood is a 2 liter inline 4 gasoline DOHE engine that generates 286 horsepower and 400 Nm of torque. The engine is mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission. The powertrain provides more than enough power and torque to ride out rough terrain with judicious use of the Select Track 4 wheel drive system with the Select Speed Control. The system automatically switches from 2 wheel drive to 4 wheel drive depending on driving situations. The system can deliver consistent and effective traction be it in muddy or rocky terrain, as well as ice or snow. The Select Speed Control uses hill descent and hill ascent control to maintain constant vehicle speed when climbing up and down slopes or crawling over irregular terrain, allowing the driver to focus more on steering around over or between obstacles. The Wrangler comes in front and rear multi-link suspension systems meant to make it a very capable off-roader while still providing a stable and comfortable ride on well-paved surfaces. The brake system features this on all four wheels. Jeep equipped the Wrangler Sahara with standard and advanced safety and driving assist technologies that give driver greater confidence on the road. There's the anti-lock four-wheel disc brakes, hydraulic assist brake booster, traction control, and electronic stability control. Parking is made easier with the ParkSense rear camera assist system and Park View rear backup camera. Driver and passengers are kept safe in case of accidents by seatbelts and next-generation front airbags and supplemental front seat side airbags, child seat upper theater anchorage. Added for safety and security are the Sentry Key Theft Deterrent System, entire pressure monitoring display, front passenger seatbelt alert. If you want an all-American off-roader, then the Jeep Wrangler Sahara may have been made for you. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's probably the most gus gus topic in the entire automotive universe. Changing the oil in your car. The most frequently asked question is, what oil should I use? And to answer that, very simple. Check your owner's manual. It's in there somewhere and it tells you what kind of oil that you should use. Just for kicks, we're changing the oil of this Mitsubishi Montero and then we flip to the section where it says maintenance. And here we have selection of engine oil. Now granted, this is not the most straightforward answer because it gives you a lot of different numbers and one look, most people would actually turn away and say, ah, I have no idea what this is and I don't understand it. But most other manuals will tell you the exact specification of oil that you're going to use. And it's always a number followed by a W, followed by a dash, and another number. And we're going to explain those numbers in a little bit, but if you just want to check it out, there are about a million YouTube videos out there that says how to explain and how to read these oil specification numbers. We're not going to do any of that, you can check that out, but we're just going to basically semi-dumb it down for everybody. Eliminate all the technical talk and all of that stuff. So this is your motor oil. Different brands, different branding. But the important thing is this one here, these numbers. SAE 10W40. Every oil label has this. Since we're in the Philippines, there's only two numbers that you should remember. These last two. It's either 30 or 40. Any of them will work on any car here. The first number here with the W, we don't care because W here stands for winter. And since we're in the Philippines and winter is never going to happen here. So all you have to do is remember, 40 or 30 will work for any car that's sold in this country. It doesn't matter what oil brand that you have, it doesn't matter who makes it, what additives, all of them will work, irregardless. Just don't put cooking oil in it. That's kind of a dumb no-brainer. It goes without saying that when you buy a car, maintenance is part of it. Your engine has moving metal parts inside. The oil is the film in the barrier that prevents these two parts from rubbing against each other too much. It's no-brainer to think that if you rub two pieces of metal together, heat will be generated and metal will come off. If you don't have any oil in your engine, you're going to have a very, very short engine life. So you have to change the oil regularly. It's one of the easiest and most sure-fired ways to keep your engine happy and running long. 
Now, as for oil change intervals, before, back in the old days, it can be as low as 5,000 because of mineral oil. But now, 10,000, 15,000, even 20,000 intervals is not a problem anymore. Almost oils right now are fully synthetic because that's what the market demands. There are still some oils that are mineral, meaning straight from the ground, they process it, no additives, no nothing, no further processing, that's mineral oil. Synthetic oil has other additives and every brand has their own. The same way that one soap has luxury fragrance, the other soap has extra bubbles. These are the few things that differentiate the brands from each other. So that's where the synthetic comes from, the additional processing after the base oil has been processed. And by the way, as far as manufacturing goes, all oil comes from Saudi Arabia. There's no oil pump from Germany, there's no oil pump from France, there's no oil pump from the Philippines, no. All of these things come from Saudi Arabia. The oil manufacturers buy this by the barrel in bulk as the base material, which consists of 90 to about 95% of the volume of the oil. It's all the same. It's the additives that make it different. The same way that gasoline is, any brand that you hear out there, you hear it often enough, it'll work on your car. <laughs> With every change oil, it is recommended that you change your oil filter, but I will say it is required that you change your oil filter. So as the name says, this is a filter. Its job is to filter and get dirty. Once this is full of dirt and debris in, from inside the engine, it has nowhere else to go. So where do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go back inside the oil and goes in, inside your engine. It keeps going round and round inside the engine with all that dirt and debris. So 200, 300 bucks gives you a lot of peace of mind. And that's how you do an oil change. Pretty simple, it takes less than an hour. You can actually do it yourself at home. Uh, you and probably one of your friends. Then beer na lang yung pangbayad. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Take care if your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this episode of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.